In this video, I'll be showing different examples of drawing objects using perspective. The first object I'll draw is the chair that you see in the top left hand corner. All of the objects that I'm going to show you always start with a cube or a box in two-point perspective. Once you've established the overall size and dimension of the box, you draw within it. Even when drawing curves, like the arms of these chairs, I start with a basic shape in two-point perspective. Once I establish the overall shape and perspective, I can break the corners a little bit and draw within the guidelines. Here I'm just sketching in some shading just to give it dimension and some form. And I'll sketch in the cast shadow underneath. Alright, I'll draw another chair from a different point of view. Again, I establish the box, the overall shape, and sketch within it in two-point perspective. Establishing that box at the beginning gives me a guideline in which to draw the object in. Once I've sketched in the chair using the two points on the horizon line, I can go back in and freehand it and start breaking the corners and giving it more character. Using a program like Sketchbook Pro allows me to lower the opacity and draw this in layers. After I've sketched it in, I'll just go back in and shade it to give it some dimension with a light source in mind. Now I'll move on to another piece of furniture. I'll draw a dresser. You can see I start with a cube and I subdivide the front to find the center where the drawers will be. I'll add a top to it and some legs using the two points on the horizon line. Then I'll verify it and give it a quick shading to give it dimension. I'll draw another piece of furniture with a little more detail in it. Again, I'll just start with a box or a cube in two-point perspective. Using simple tricks like subdividing helps me find the center. In this example, I'm drawing in doors, drawers, and moldings in this armoire. On the bottom, I'll freehand in some curves using the perspective lines as a guide. Once I've sketched in the overall shape, I'll go back in and I'll verify it. During this stage, I'll add a little more details along the way. Once I finish verifying, I'll go back in and shade it based on a light source. In this example, I'll add some color. To give it form and dimension, I'll make sure that my darker tone is away from the light source. I'll also add simple highlights and lowlights.
Now I'll move on and I'll draw a lamp. Again, I'll start with a basic shape, like a box, and draw within it. Finding the center of objects is really useful by drawing corner to corner and subdividing. Once I've sketched it in, I'll go back in and verify. Again, using a software like Sketchbook Pro gives you an opportunity to draw this in layers. So you can lower the opacity and draw over and over on top of your object. I'll loosely sketch in some shading to give it form and dimension. Then I'll add a little bit of color. All right, let's move on to different objects. Here I'm gonna draw two books. I'll begin by establishing the basic shape in two-point perspective. And within that shape, I'll start adding details like the spine and the pages. I'll sketch in another book on top of this one. But notice I've changed the vanishing points on the horizon line, so the books are at different angles. Again, I establish the overall shape of the book and then draw in the details later. Once I'm happy with the overall sketch, I'll lower the opacity in Sketchbook Pro and I'll go back and I'll verify and do some shading. All right, I'm gonna move on and draw another object. This one's gonna be an old suitcase. Here I established the overall shape of the suitcase and then went back in and broke the corners to round them. When drawing an object, look around your house and find something you wanna draw. Or find an image that you can use as a reference. Once I'm happy with the preliminary sketch, I'll go back in and verify and start adding more details. Then I'll shade it to give it more dimension and form based on a light source. Here I'm just adding some old stickers to give it character, and then I'll add some shading and cast shadows. All right, I'll show you one more example. This time I'm going to draw a laptop. 
To begin, I'll just sketch in the overall shape using the vanishing points on the horizon line as a guide. I'll quickly sketch in where the keys go, again using the two points on the horizon line. Then I'll verify the shape and shade along the way. I'll add some texture and color to the screen. And then add some cast shadows. Now I'll just go in and clean up all my lines, add some low lights and some highlights, and just finishing touches. Your drawing exercise this week is to draw any object using perspective as a guide.